There's 190 million Americans. Imagine if out of that, all of them don't have jobs. Let's just say 90 million working Americans that are actually on the streets, free to move around. Let's just say out of the 90 million, 40 million say, you know what, we're not going to pay mortgage payments and the taxes anymore. Matter of fact, we've been collaborating. We're going to, we've saved up for a month or two. We don't need any gas or food for a month or two. So we're not even going to go shopping. We're not going to get on public transportation. We're not going to use our cars. We're done. We're going to take two months off. You know that thing you did to us with the global pandemic when you shut everything off? Well, we're going to shut everything off now. Except we won't turn it back on until you negotiate a better deal with us. Because you work for us. We don't work for you. You are our servants. That's what the government is. Your servants. But you got it where they're telling you everything you can and can't do. And you're afraid of them. What if we turned off the planet collectively? So you know what? We're done. Talk to us when you send a representative that we approve of, and we'll start the negotiation process on how we might turn things back on when we're ready under the right conditions suitable for us. And watch them start shaking in their pants. Watch these elites start panicking when the cash flow stops moving. I guarantee you one month of no revenue moving through this country and everybody going to request their money out of the banks will shut down everything. And then you say, you want us to turn back on? Face all the debt, mortgage payments down to zero. But that takes courage. That takes unity. That takes collaboration. And that takes planning.